Here you will see all of the parts included in your RSP 110 gaming chair. Start by opening up your 5 star base. Adding each wheel to the ends of your 5 star base will allow for easy mobility. Once you've added all 5 wheels, flip the base over, take your gas lift and put it into the center of the base. The gas lift cover will then slide above the gas lift. This piece is purely for aesthetics and just for a nice clean visual. Then take your seat, flip it over and find your mechanism, align your holes with the opening of the mechanism being towards the back of the chair or across from your footrest. Add your washers to all the screws for the mechanism. First hand tighten all of the screws to make sure that all holes are aligned and then tighten all the way down to make sure you have a good tight fit. Take your seat with the mechanism now attached and flip it over to add it to your gas lift. Pressure is the only thing that holds these together. Your three screws to attach your back to your seat require lock washers and washers for extra stability. Slide your back inside the mechanism and align your holes. Just hand tighten so you have movement and flexibility to add your arms. Attach your Velcro for a nice clean look. Start on one side of your arms and align your holes to attach your arms to the back and seat of the chair. Tighten until snug. Repeat the steps on the other arms and end with a nice finishing cap so you have a good clean look. Then go back and tighten the screws to make sure your back is in there tight. Your adjustable headrest pillow can be attached through the holes in the back or even above the headrest. Your footrest mechanism can be pulled out from behind and flipped over to put into good use. We hope you now enjoy your RSP 110 gaming chair. Live to play another day.